Hey guys, uh, good to be here for this week's uh, labs update. Um, so what's been going on on the session side, we have continued to work on user config. We are making a lot of progress. Uh, happy to say that we're putting together some uh, builds right now as I speak uh, for the power user kind of community, which is probably a group of about 20, 30 people who um, are really, well, power users, I suppose, <laughs> use the app a lot. Um, so usually we give builds to them a little bit earlier so we can see if we can find any uh, bugs that they're running into. Also good because they have larger databases, they use the app more often, they're using administrative features as well um, to manage open groups. So it'd be a good test uh, there. If that all goes well, um, there's nothing really getting in the way of user config being released. Um, so hopefully we'll be very soon down the line um, after that. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's kind of too early to say at this point. Uh, the session team's also been working on disappearing messages. Um, so basically merging back disappearing messages into the user config stuff. Found a bunch of edge cases this week, which we have done a bit of design work to resolve. Um, and that's looking good. And then there's also some work going on uh, on Android right now to implement a message info screen, which has been on iOS as well for a while. Um, so yeah, that's just, oh, and um, desktop's working on, or was working on right to left uh, language support. So yeah, um, languages which are typed right to left. Uh, example would be like Farsi. Uh, we had a lot of Iranian users come in um, over the last uh, six months. So when those, Iranian users had come in and were typing Farsi, it was going the wrong direction. So um, we've added, uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress. We need it to be reviewed um, by a few community members, but yeah, we're working on that process to add um, right to left uh, support in the message box. Um, so that is really good as well. Uh, on the LokiNet side of things, basically just continuing work on LibQuick. Um, we are making a lot of progress there as well. Uh, and this week, happy to say that we just started integrating LibQuick into uh, LokiNet slash LibLokiNet, um, and the speed ups are looking very large um, and very promising on that front as well. So, hopefully, once this whole process is done, which um, you know I don't know exact the exact time frames, but it won't be a few weeks. It'll probably be uh, longer than a few weeks to get everything integrated into LokiNet. But after that's done, uh, we should be seeing a massive speed and reliability increase in LokiNet as well. So uh, that's gonna be huge for uh, LokiNet, LibLokiNet, all, all of the applications that exist on top of that, which will be session soon as well. Um, so some big news there too. Uh, all right, I think that's it for us. Uh, thank you for listening and I'll pass it over to Cam. See ya. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, last week in the marketing labs, uh, probably the most exciting thing that happened was we reached 750,000 users on session, which was a great milestone to reach and is extremely important for the goals that Oxen has going forward for the rest of the year and beyond. If you're interested in learning a bit more about that, we released a video where Chris runs through what that milestone means for us and where we're going now that we've kicked that goal. Um, check the link in the description if you want to see that. We ran a brief cross-brand uh, promotional campaign around that on our social media and pushed it out as far as we could because it's a big deal. Um, beyond that, we also have been doing a bit of an overview of what's going on with our video content, particularly in the context of the session tapes. And something that we're looking at doing pretty soon is getting someone on for a guest spot. So let us know in the comments, get in touch if there's anyone in particular that you would like us to speak to because that's likely gonna happen pretty soon. Um, <clears throat> the OPTF, their strategic goals at the moment involve a lot more going to conferences because it has work, been working out really well for us over the last couple of months with the two conferences that we went to in Thailand and in Mexico. Um, if you want to learn more about that, um, we released a blog uh, where we went over the highlights, uh, what it means for the project, and we are looking at over the next six months, more places that we can go because it has a tremendous impact on the project overall. The session phone giveaway uh, winner was released. The giveaway overall ended up being a really successful experiment and we learned that that sort of promotional activity gives a way better ROI than just spending money to achieve Twitter followers or whatever objective you have on social media. Um, about about 20 times better ROI in the end according to the numbers that we ran. So overall that was really successful and congratulations to the winner. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining me and I'll catch you.
catch you again next week.